Drake May has some mechanical issues that go beyond just his footwork. We'll tell you what it is and how he can fix it here on Pat's Cat. Welcome to Pat's Cast. I'm Brad Whitaker. Rookie minicamp has had quite a few highlights of Drake May throwing the football, or low lights, if you will. And Gerard Mayo has not been shy saying that he has a lot to work on if he's going to be an NFL starting quarterback. Mayo was asked at the conclusion of, I believe it was the second day of rookie minicamp, what his early impressions were of Drake May. And he said, point blank, Drake May has a lot to work on. He then went on to commend him for the hard work that he's putting in, the effort, but it sounds like Drake has a long way to go, and I would not count him to be the starter, not just in week one, but perhaps even year one from everything that we've heard. And look, I'm going to say this about Gerard Mayo. I'm going to believe everything that Gerard Mayo says until the Patriots get their doors blown off at some point early in the season. Because right now, he is being very transparent, and he still sees the Boston sports media as a friend. Now, as we all know, the Boston sports media is not your friend, and that is not going to last at all. But until the Patriots have a rough time with it, until Gerard Mayo has to go to the podium after his team loses 40-3, to he's going to be transparent. So I'm going to believe everything Mayo says because he's trying to be the anti-Bill Belichick when it comes to the media until he hits that wall and thinks, all right, Belichick kind of had a point keeping things very inward and not saying too much. But until that day comes, I'm going to believe him. And Gerard Mayo will not lie. He is being open and honest about what he's seen from Drake May. And I'm inferring that the team thinks he's nowhere near ready to start. And if you watch some of his clips from Rookie Minicamp, you can see that Drake May is working on a ton, and it isn't just his footwork, it's his actual throwing motion. Now, I heard about this first on Felger and Maz listening to them yesterday, that Drake May has a little hitch when he throws, and Mike Giardi talks about this, I'm I'm, I'm getting this quote via Felger and Maz, Giardi writes, there is a little hitch, call it a shoulder shrug in the former North Carolina Stars delivery, that needs to be cleaned up. On several occasions, it appeared as if the 21-year-old was intentionally taking some velocity off his throws, cautious even, in a way that didn't look like anything I noticed on his college tape. But that could be the direction of coaches, as overall the practice speed wasn't full bore. Now, if you watch some of the clips out of rookie minicamp, Drake May looked a little bit awkward throwing the football. He was kind of throwing in slow motion. He was working on his footwork, wasn't standing on the balls of his feet, was a bit flat-footed, throwing it slowly. And then you compared it to Joe Milton, and and now we all think Joe Milton is the next superstar. It's because Drake May was working on not just cleaning up his footwork, but his throwing motion as well. Greg Bedard adds that it sure felt like Drake May was directed to do everything, including throwing at about half speed, They're building him from the ground up with footwork, etc. They can't forget about his throwing motion, which is long, and he has an annoying hitch where his shoulder shrugs before he throws. Now, I watched a lot of Drake May highlights over the last few months, expecting the Patriots were going to draft him, which they did. I did not really focus on his throwing motion. I looked at, you know, I, I could see like the long release, and but really I kind of focused on his, his poor footwork, his mechanics, the things that he needed to clean up. But I went back and watched some of his college highlights, not his lowlights, his highlights, and there it was. Pretty much every throw, you can go watch it. Drake May lifts his front shoulder before he throws, and it probably takes two-tenths of a second longer for him to throw the football because of this annoying hitch. And this is nothing unusual. Like Justin Herbert, if you go watch his highlights at Oregon, you even watch him throw now. He has a little bit of a hitch. They have very similar throwing motions. I think Drake Mays is probably even worse coming out of college than Justin Herbert's was. Now, Herbert got it cleaned up, obviously, and and has managed to work with it for quite some time. But the hitch is there. You watch the clips, the hitch is there. And uh, as Giardi and Bedard said, it is a bit annoying. It is an annoying hitch. And we can see it in this clip that's going around X right now, which is comparing the throwing motion of Jaden Daniels out of LSU, who was drafted by the Washington Commanders, and Drake May. Now, there's a reason Jaden Daniels 
went second overall. And part of it, it isn't just his mobility, his speed. He has an incredibly quick release, and it almost looks effortless. Even though maybe his arm strength isn't quite what Drake Mays is, his ability to get rid of the football quickly is very impressive. Some of the best I've ever seen from a quarterback coming out of college. And there's a side-by-side comparison of Jane Daniels throwing the football at rookie minicamp and Drake May throwing the football. And it takes May literally twice as long for him to throw the ball than it does Jaden Daniels. Now, the reason Drake May was a valuable prospect, the reason he was drafted third overall, is because he has other traits, right? Like big frame, big body, good arm strength, a lot of athleticism, the ability to plow through linebackers, the ability to run quarterback sneaks. There's a lot of Josh Allen in there in addition to Justin Herbert. There's a reason Drake May went high as well, but in terms of mechanic, mechanics, footwork, throwing motion, he's nowhere near ready compared to Jaden Daniels, compared to even Caleb Williams, compared to even J.J. McCarthy. And look, there was a reason I was very high on J.J. McCarthy for the weeks heading into the draft, because I think we're overcorrecting a little bit, right? Patriots had Mac Jones, who had no arm, but he, at least his rookie year, had good instincts, had very good accuracy, was a smart quarterback. But because of the so-called noodle arm that Mac Jones had, now the Patriots are overcorrecting the other way, and they're getting the anti-Mac Jones. They got a quarterback with a strong arm who may not have the best instincts, but he's mobile, he's athletic, he has size, but he's not the most accurate. And his throwing motion, he does not have a quick release. And that's why Drake May is a bit of a project and a guy who... Look, I said, probably not going to start week one. Maybe he's starting by the beginning of November. Right now, I don't think he's starting at all. I think he is a year two, maybe even a year three quarterback. This might be a Jordan Love, Aaron Rodgers situation because his throwing motion is going to take some time. Like footwork mechanics, that's something that you can probably clean up in an offseason. At least if you ask NFL coaches, you ask Kevin O'Connell, who is very interested in drafting Drake May out of Minnesota. He says you can clean up footwork really quickly. Throwing motion, that's probably a one to two year project. And that's something that Drake May is working on right away. Now, obviously, he's a hard worker. He's arriving early, staying late, as we heard from Gerard Mayo. He's really trying to clean this up and he's trying to do it quickly. But that's not footwork. That's something that is instinctive. It's something that you build up through repetition And if you don't have enough reps with a new throwing motion, it's the same thing as a golf swing. You're going to go back to the old way of doing things, and it's going to take Drake May a lot longer to release the football, meaning he's probably not going to see the football field for quite some time. And there were also comparisons coming out of rookie minicamp with Joe Milton, because Joe Milton, it doesn't look like, was asked to clean up his mechanics in the same way that Drake May was. Now, Joe Milton has a lot of other problems, right? Like, he has the strongest arm in the draft, even stronger than Drake May. We've seen the clip of him throwing in orange 120 yards. Like, it's incredible what what he can do. But there are literally highlights or lowlights of him in college where the receiver is 40 yards downfield and he airmails it 60 yards downfield. Milton has a lot of issues with his accuracy, But if you compare him to Drake May, his mechanics are a lot better. His release is a lot better. Is it Jaden Daniels quick? No, not even close. But he doesn't really have a lot to clean up in the same way that Drake May does. So I'm almost more confident that Joe Milton could be a contributor quicker than Drake May just because of that. And and wouldn't it be hilarious if when all is said and done, Joe Milton becomes the starting franchise quarterback and not Drake May? You know, it would be a Brock Purdy situation relative to Trey Lance, quarterback taken late in the draft versus the guy that you think is the future franchise piece. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I don't think that's what's going to happen. But Joe Milton really just needs to clean up his decision making, his accuracy. He's got to learn the playbook and learn to go through the progression like everybody else. But very similar to Drake May in terms of his athleticism, his arm strength, better arm than Drake May. I don't think he's out there trying to clean up his mechanics in the same way that they've assigned Drake May to do the same thing. And that's why when you look at these clips from rookie minicamp, Joe Milton is throwing the ball a lot farther, a lot harder, a lot quicker, and Drake May is kind of going through the motions, doing it at half pace, working on his footwork, a bit flat-footed, 
working on his release, trying to get rid of that hitch. And look, we've seen this with other quarterbacks. In fact, Tom Brady had a bit of a hitch for like the first two thirds of his career. Now it worked out just fine for him. Like it wasn't the same sort of issue that Drake May is having, but you watch Brady, he was rotating his shoulders a little too much for the majority of his NFL career. And I think it was Tom House, uh, the throwing coach who works with baseball and football players that actually cleaned it up. And you watch Brady the last six or seven years of his NFL career was much quicker at releasing the football, didn't rotate his shoulders quite as much. Again, not the same issue that Drake May had. Tom Brady obviously still had a very quick release relative to most quarterbacks. That's what part of what made Tom Brady so great. But even he had a lot to work on, and Tom House helped clean it up. So I hope Tom House is working with Drake May. Let me see. Let me see. How do we get a hold of Tom House? Uh, let's see. Tom House throwing... All right, so Tom House has a program called National Pitching with Tom House Sports Inc., I believe it is. And if you go to his website, there is a contact form. So Pat's Cast fans, we should all fill this out, right? And 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 don't spam him, okay? Don't spam Tom House. We need to be smart about this, right? We need to be respectful. We need to be polite. Dear Tom House or, or dear Mr. House, I live in the South, so Mr. House, sir... Make sure you're being polite. Please work with Drake May. He needs your help. I'm sure the crafts will pay for it. If not, maybe we'll start a crowdfunding campaign. I don't know. But Tom House has worked wonders for even Tom Brady. I believe he's worked with Drew Brees before, worked with a lot of baseball players. This pitching academy, this national pitching thing that he has, is focused specifically on baseball, but clearly he has plenty of experience working with the best quarterbacks. So I would encourage you to go to the contact form here and hit up Tom House and just say, look, go watch Drake May. What is this hitch issue? We we need this cleaned up. Go contact the Crafts. I'm sure you have their number. Or call Brady and, and have him give you Crafts' number. And let's get you in there and working with Drake May because that might speed up this process from a one- to two-year fix to maybe just an off-season fix. Drake May obviously is working with Alex Van Pelt Ben McAdoo, some of these other guys, the the new quarterbacks coach, uh, I believe T.C. McCartney is his name in New England, but he needs a Tom House in there. He needs a specialist, a guy who's going to be able to fix this right away. Hopefully it works out, but like I said, this, don't have your expectations too high on Drake May. I think Jacoby Brissett is a pretty good quarterback, especially the more that I watch of him in recent years. I'm going off of what I saw from Brissett early in his career when he was seen as more of a runner than a thrower. He's a good pocket passer now. He's really cleaned up a lot. Like, I think they're going to be fine with Jacoby Brissett however long he's out there. And they're not going to win the Super Bowl, right? But I don't see Drake May leapfrogging him if this is all the stuff that he has to clean up. This may be a Jordan Love, Aaron Rodgers situation. And go back and watch Aaron Rodgers. I mentioned this many times in the podcast, so sorry if I'm repeating myself. But go watch Aaron Rodgers' college highlights. He looks like Keith Folk throwing the football. He looks like a catcher in baseball throwing the football. He's, he's holding the ball by his ear, has his elbow out, and throwing it. And somehow Aaron Rodgers completely changed his throwing motion by the time he replaced Brett Favre in Green Bay. And I wouldn't say Aaron Rodgers has a conventional throwing motion. It, it's kind of different, but it's very smooth. He has a quick release, and it's something that he built up with the reps over time. I wonder if he worked with Tom House. Perhaps he did. But That's something that takes time. There's a reason Aaron Rodgers sat on the bench for all those years. There's a reason Jordan Love sat behind Aaron Rodgers on the bench for all those years. And I think as of right now, unless you get Tom House in there, unless Drake May is staying late every night and working on this and putting in the reps and changing his throwing motion and can adjust quickly, this might be a similar situation to Green Bay. And who's the de facto general manager, VP of player personnel, whatever his title is now? It's Elliot Wolf, the son of Ron Wolf. Ron Wolf was a famous general manager in Green Bay, brought in Brett Favre. Elliot Wolf spent some time in Green Bay along with other organizations, including Cleveland. I think Elliot Wolf is looking at Drake May as a similar project to Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love, and it makes some sense. Drake May is a project, unfortunately, and I didn't really see much of this hitch issue until I really watched the clips and focused on it, but it is there. And it is a problem. 
And a lot of quarterbacks coming into the league, a lot of baseball players, particular, particularly pitchers, have this issue where there's a hitch and they throw strikes when the hitch goes away and they throw balls and get a lot of walks when it comes back. That's the thing. Drake May could fix it. He could show in practice that he has fixed this issue, but then he goes out in a game and he starts getting back into bad habits, old habits, and suddenly he's back on the bench again. You do not want to rush him. And it's funny because Joe Milton seems more ready because his mechanics are a lot better than Drake May's are, even if Joe Milton has a ton of other issues, probably less accurate than Drake May, even though neither are very accurate quarterbacks. But again, this is why I like J.J. McCarthy because I, I and, and look, we're not going back. We're not going to do too much J.J. McCarthy talk. He's in Minnesota. He's in a very good situation, but I didn't want to overcorrect for Mac Jones. I wanted to find a happy medium between the throw the football over the mountains quarterback who has accuracy and mechanical issues and the accurate slow motion slow, bad arm quarterback of Mac Jones. I wanted to find a happy medium there. And I thought J.J. McCarthy was that guy because his mechanics are pretty good. He's accurate. He has a good arm, even though it's not Drake May or Joe Milton's arm. He's more ready to step into an NFL role on week one. But hey, look, the Patriots won four games last year. They're not winning the Super Bowl this next season. They're in a full-on rebuild. Drake May may not see the field all season long. So with that in mind, maybe it was worth drafting Drake May because you think you can clean this up. But as Gerard Mayo said, he has a lot to work on. And the Patriots are making sure when he's out there at practice, at rookie minicamp, at OTAs next week, that he's focusing not on his old self just delivering the football. He's focusing on the little things, things he hasn't done before, getting rid of that hitch, having NFL quality footwork, and it's going to take some time. But that's the situation we're in right now. Pat's cast, go contact Tom House. Let's get him in there working with Drake May. We can get him out in the field a lot quicker and get our star quarterback. Because that's the thing. If Drake May fixes these things, he could be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL three, four seasons down the road. I I really mean that. That's why he, he was drafted at third overall. Because he has all the traits. There's no throw he cannot make. There's nothing he hasn't done before. It's just been a little ugly. So he's got to clean it up. That's it for this episode of Pat's Cast. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the notification bell so you can see future videos or subscribe if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. We'll be back the rest of the week with more Patriots coverage. Sunday night lights, the crowd's on their feet. Cast is here, can you feel the heat? Drake May, the QB with dreams so grand Gotta clean up this game, gotta take a stand His mechanics are rusty His motion ain't smooth But Pat's cast believes he's got something to prove He's got a hitch in his throat It's time to let it go Gotta trust his arm